Good morning, students. We are we are discussing chapter number ten, transport and communication of geography, part first, India, people, and economy. In our yesterday class, we discussed up to oceanic routes and introductory part of air transportation. Air transportation introductory part we discussed that it is the fastest means of movement from one place to another. That is, it is the fastest means of transportation because it saves time. It takes less time to reach anywhere in the world. Next thing which we discussed yesterday, that is, it is suitable for the hilly terrains or the landscape or the harsh. Land feature, physiographic, uh, physiographic lens. वहाँ ये बिल्कुल suitable है जहाँ पे railway develop नहीं होता है, roads develop नहीं हो सकती है, उसको develop करना challenging हो. वहाँ पे air transportation, uh, it's very easy to develop air transportations there. So we discussed about history of Indian airlines too in our yesterday class, and now the third paragraph of air transportation that the air transportation is india in india is managed by air india because air india is the corporation of india public sector corporation of india and many private company have also started passenger services dekhi private if i am talking about private companies to dekhi king fishers ho gayi deccan uh, airways ho gaya to ye sari private companies hai jo passenger service ko deal कर रही है एयर इंडिया प्रोवाइड इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विसेज फॉर बोथ पैसेंजर्स एंड कार्गो ट्रैफिक इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विस इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विस द एयर सर्विस व्हिच इज इन बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज इन बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज टू और मेनी कंट्रीज दैट इज इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विस एंड एयर इंडिया इज डीलिंग इंटरनेशनल एयर सर्विस फॉर बोथ पैसेंजर्स एंड कार्गो ट्रैफिक कार्गो एयर मींस गुड्स फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ गुड्स आल्सो एयर इंडिया इज डीलिंग दिस Also, if I am talking about the private companies, now private companies are also dealing this. Private companies are also uh, dealing this. One minute, students. Huh. Private companies in air transportation, they are Deccan Airways, they are Kingfisher, they are also now dealing domestic air services and as well as international air services too. Some private companies also have started operations to foreign countries. Now, in 2010, domestic movement in, uh, involved 520.21 lakh passengers and about 23 lakh metric tons of cargo. So, 2010 domestic movement that is within the country, that is from one state to another one, from one district to another district, that is the domestic movement or domestic uh, movement. So, it involved 520.21 lakh passengers and about 23 lakh metric tons here. The unit of measurement of the cargo that is goods. Now, the next thing that is Pawan Hans. Pawan Hans is a helicopter service. Pawan Hans is a helicopter service which is given in the hilly areas, especially in I am talking about the northeastern states that includes the Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Mizoram, Sikkim. Uh, Tripura, Meghalaya. So, Pawan Hans is a company of helicopter service that is operating in hilly areas, especially in the northeastern states. Other also, अगर अब मैं बात करता हूँ तो ONGC के जो extraction है Mumbai High. We discussed about the Mumbai High petroleum petroleum extraction जो Mumbai High region से जो petroleum extraction है. In that area also. पवन हंस जो है पवन हंस हेलीकॉप्टर सर्विसेज आर गिविंग देयर सर्विस इन दैट एरिया टू ओ एन जी सी में भी ये अपनी हेलीकॉप्टर सर्विस दे रहे हैं तो ये जो आपका आया है पेट्रोलियम सेक्टर पेट्रोलियम सेक्टर में स्पेशली देर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मुंबई हाई ऑफ शोर पेट्रोलियम एक्सट्रेक्शन रीजन देयर ऑल्सो पवन हंस इज प्रोवाइडिंग हेलीकॉप्टर सर्विस टू द ओ एन जी सी दैट इज ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस कॉरपोरेशन ओके Now the next topic that is oil and gas pipeline. So pipelines, if I am talking about the pipelines, that it is the most convenient. Convenient here means, ah, ah, यहाँ पे बिल्कुल affordable रहता है, convenient है, easy है. Pipelines and efficient means of transporting liquid and gases over long distances. If I am talking about developed countries, there also an LPG भी जो domestic 
यूज के लिए जो एलपीजी सप्लाई जो होती है दैट इज आल्सो थ्रू द मींस ऑफ पाइपलाइन इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया जनरली देखिए तो जो हमारा ड्रिंकिंग वाटर आता है दैट इज थ्रू द मींस ऑफ पाइपलाइन हमारे घर पे ड्रिंकिंग वाटर अभी पाइपलाइन से आ रहा है बाकी इतना डेवलपमेंट नहीं हुआ है पाइपलाइन के रिगार्डिंग तो पाइपलाइन से जो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हो रहा है दैट इज लिक्विड एंड गैसेस तो लिक्विड और गैसेस दोनों हो रहा है तो लिक्विड में देखिए आयरन को भी करते हैं आयरन को कैसे ट्रांसपोर्ट कर सकते हैं दैट इज इन द्लरी फॉर्म ट्रांसपोर्टिंग आयरन इन द स्लरी फॉर्म के अंदर उसको स्लरी वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई स्लरी स्लरी मीन्स थिक लिक्विड स्लरी मीन्स थिक लिक्विड Even solid can also transported through the pipeline after converted them in slurry. Slurry I already discussed. Slurry means thick liquid, and here uh, the NCERT is talking about the iron ore. So iron ore को भी heat करके उसको slurry में convert करके pipeline से transport कर सकते हैं. Next one that is Oil India Limited under the administrative setup of the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas is engaged in the exploration, production, and transportation of crude oil and natural gas. So, Oil India Limited is a joint venture of the uh, government and the private one. So, ये एक joint venture है. तो ये Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas के under के अंदर ये exploration, production, and transportation कर रहा है crude oil. Crude oil कौन सा होता है? That is Not refined yet. तो वो जो crude oil जैसे अभी जब petroleum जो अपना airways के अंदर जो petrol use होता है जो energy fuel use होता है वो ये सब extract नहीं किए हैं separate नहीं किए हैं that is crude oil and natural gas ये दोनों ही दोनों इससे क्या होता है transfer होता है next one that is it was incorporated in 1959 as a company so i already discussed that oil india limited is a joint venture company which is a uh, owned and managed Managed together by public and private enterprises, and it was incorporated in 1959 as a company. Okay. Now, Asia first crossed the tree pipeline covering a distance of 1157 kilometer was constructed by Oil India Limited from Nahar Katia oil field in Assam to Baroni refinery in uh, Bihar. So, ये आपकी सबसे बड़ी एशिया की फर्स्ट क्रॉस कंट्री पाइपलाइन है ये टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर करी है 1157 किलोमीटर एंड इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द इट इज इन बिटवीन नहर कटिया दैट इज लोकेटेड इन असम एंड बैरोनी दैट इज लोकेटेड इन बिहार सो इट वाज फर्दर एक्सटेंडेड अप टू कानपुर कानपुर व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन प्रदेश इट इज फर्दर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन कानपुर इन 1966 Another extensive network of pipeline. Other important pipelines are Ankaleshwar Koyli, Mumbai High Koyli, and Hazira Vijayapur Jagdishpur. That is HVJ pipeline. That is the most important one in recent years. Now, recently, a 1,256 kilometer long pipeline connecting Salaya, that is located in Gujarat, with the Mathura, that is located in. Uh, Uttar Pradesh has been constructed. So it also supplies crude oil, crude oil which is not refined yet. It uh, say a bit of petrol, diesel, जो अपना airways uh, energy fuel है, तो इसको separate नहीं किया. So it uh, transport that from the Gujarat to the Punjab in the Jalandhar via Mathura that is located in Uttar Pradesh. So Oil India Limited is in process constructing 660 km long pipeline from Rumligarh to Siliguri that is in West Bengal. Now the students next topic that is communication network. So let's talk about the communication network. We are generally using telephone. WhatsApp is also a means of communication in which we are exchanging information, ideas, thoughts. so human being have evolved through different method of communication over time in earlier time the messages were delivered by beating the drum or hollow tree trunks giving indications through smoke or fire or with the help of fast runner even today also that uh, communication prevail in the sector of this fire alarm so to ye bhi communication hai ki theek hai fire jo hai kahi lag gayi hai to usse aapko save hone ke liye wo aapko alert karta hai so just like that if i'm talking about the ancient time at that time the beating of the drums or hollow tree trunks giving indication through smoke or fire that was means of communication after that horses camel dog birds or ye jo other animals jo hai inka bhi use hone lage ke messages ko send karne ke liye hum dekhte hi hain uh, ancient time medieval time ke andar jo hai pigeons jo hai wo ek tarah se मैसेज को कन्वे करता था तो इनिशियली द मींस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन और आल्सो द मींस ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आल्सो 
so invention of post office after that let's talk about the modern time that is the introduction of post office telegraph printing press telephone satellite communication made the communication much faster and easier to so, ab utna uh, late nahi hota pehle communication jo hota tha wo road means se jo hota tha usme kya late hota tha lekin ab jo hai fastest means of communication now develop so development in the field of science and technology has significantly contributed in bringing about revolution revolution means a vast change in the field of communication डेवलपमेंट थ्रू अब नाउ वी आर हम ई मेल कर सकते हैं तो एकदम फास्ट कम्युनिकेशन है व्हाट्सएप इज अन्स ऑफ फास्ट कम्युनिकेशन हम फोन करते हैं मोबाइल करते हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो मीन्स ऑफ फास्ट कम्युनिकेशन सो ये सारा पॉसिबल किससे हुआ है दैट इज डेवलपमेंट इन द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट से नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ दैट इज पीपल यूज डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टू कन्वे द मैसेज तो यहाँ पे देखिए एक मास कम्युनिकेशन है एक पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन है पर्सनली अगर हम किसी को फोन करके हम कोई मैसेज डिलीवर कर रहे हैं दैट इज इन बिटवीन टू पर्सन और मास कम्युनिकेशन की अगर मैं एग्जाम्पल देखते हूँ तो एक मास कम्युनिकेशन नंबर ऑफ पर्सन नंबर ऑफ पीपल जो है उनको मैसेज कन्वे कर रहा है दैट इज थ्रू द मीन्स ऑफ रेडियो सिनेमा टेलीविजन रेडियो न्यूज पेपर मैगजीन्स बुक्स आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ mass communication and personal communication includes the letters telephone telegram fax email internet that all are the means of uh, personal communication now next thing that is personal communication system so among all the personal communication system internet is the most effective and advanced one so uh, right now we are using uh, whatsapp so ye kaise possible hai there that is through the means of internet so internet se hi ye possible hua to ye bilkul advanced uh, technology hai communication system ko development ki so it is widely used in urban areas so urban areas ke andar zyada use ho raha hai to dekhiye that is uh, the accessibility ki possibility jo hai accessibility jo hai network ki wo urban areas ke andar comparison to the remote areas kya hai zyada hai so it enables the user to establish direct contact through email to get access to the world of knowledge and information to so, kuch bhi hame explore karna hai kisi ke bare mein janna hai to hum easily use google kar sakte hain so it is also only possible through the means of internet it is increasingly used for e commerce and carrying out money transactions so right now we are using amazon mintra that are all are example of e commerce electronic commerce and carrying out money transaction that is we are using phone pay paytm google pay these all are example of money transaction that is carried out through the means of internet to ye aapka that is also a personal communication now the internet is like a huge central warehouse of data so warehouse of data kyun hai kyunki hum internet ke through किसी भी डाटा को एक्सेस कर सकते हैं गूगल कर सकते हैं वी कैन गेट इजीली इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट डेटा द नेटवर्क थ्रू इंटरनेट एंड ईमेल प्रोवाइड एंड एफिशिएंट एक्सेस टू द इंफॉर्मेशन एट अ कंपैरेटिवली लो कोस्ट इट इनेबल्स अस विद द बेसिक फैसिलिटीज और डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन सो इंटरनेट इज समवर्ड प्रोवाइडिंग आर डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन फैसिलिटी अगर हम व्हाट्सएप पे मैसेज करें तो हम उसे डायरेक्ट क्या कर रहे हैं कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हैं अगर हम कॉलिंग कर रहे हैं वीडियो कॉल कर रहे हैं दैट इज आल्सो वी आर डायरेक्ट इज इट इज एग्जांपल ऑफ डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन next next one that is mass communication system mass communication system when we are communicating to a number of people number of persons so that is through the means of mass communication system the best example that is radio radio broadcasting started in india in the year 1923 by radio club of bombay so radio club of bombay started the radio broadcasting in india uh, 1923 ke andar ye start hua to iske regarding ek mcq bhi hai multiple choice question is also given uh, regarding it since then it gained immense popularity and changed the socio cultural life of people to logo ki socio cultural life kaise isne change kiya to dekhiye different types of programs from different because india is a, a vast area country india jo hai vast area country hai there is a huge diversities in india regarding culture regarding society regarding community to so, radio pe jo broadcast hote the jo purane programs broadcast hote the to isse bahut zyada change aaya socio cultural life ke logo ko within no time it made a place in every household of the country government took this opportunity and brought this popular mode of communication under its control in 1930 under the indian broadcasting system 
the government ne iski importance ko after knowing its importance isko take over kiya tha 1930 ke andar and isko change karke all india radio kar diya 1936 aur 1957 mein it changes to name to the akashwani so all india radio broadcasts a variety of programs related to information एजुकेशन एंटरटेनमेंट तो हम रेडियो पे देखिए गाने भी आते हैं आपको न्यूज भी मिलती है आपको एजुकेशन रिलेटेड देखिए जो फार्मर्स हैं उनके रिलेटेड प्रोग्राम्स आते हैं फार्मर्स के रिलेटेड जो है क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न के रिलेटेड हो फिर वो किसी डिजीज को लेके हो चाहे वो यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स को लेके हो तो ऐसे प्रोग्राम्स भी क्या है उसमें आते हैं एजुकेशन के रिलेटेड प्रोग्राम्स आते हैं नियर अबाउट की भाई फ्यूचर में किस आ, किसके अकॉर्डिंग जो है डेवलपमेंट करना है दैट इज रिगार्डिंग एजुकेशन एंटरटेनमेंट भी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन्फॉर्मेशन में आपकी न्यूज चैनल्स जितने भी हैं न्यूज के रिगार्डिंग जो प्रोग्राम्स आते हैं दैट इज रिगार्डिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन स्पेशल न्यूज बुलेटिन आर ऑल्सो ब्रॉडकास्ट एंड स्पेसिफिक ओकेजन लाइक सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एंड स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर तो जो हमारे स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर असेंबलीज के अंदर जो ओकेजन होते हैं जो प्रोग्राम्स चलते हैं जो पार्लियामेंट के अंदर राज्यसभा लोकसभा में जो प्रोसीडिंग्स होती है दैट उससे रिलेटेड भी न्यूज स्पेशल न्यूज बुलेटिन जो है वो ब्रॉडकास्ट होते हैं रेडियो पे the next example of uh, is ma uh, mass communication system that is television or tv so television broadcasting has emerged as a most effective audio visual medium for disabled you can see radio jo hai wo kebal aur kebal audio medium hai and television is audio and visual medium for disseminating information so aapko information jo hai audio visual dono way ke andar aapko tv ke through milti hai and educating masses initially the tv services were limited only to the national capital where it began in 1959 to so 1959 the tv service only introduced uh, at that time only introduced in the uh, delhi after 1972 Several other centers became operational in 1976. TV was de-linked from all India radio and got a separate identity as Doordarshan. So Doordarshan was the first channel on the television in India. After that, two channels or addition were there: DD1, thereafter DD2, or its alawa, hote gaye. So after insert IA National Television DD1 became operational common national programs were started for the entire network and its services were extended to the backward and remote rural area so zyada se zyada logo ko iske through access mile so that was the motive or tv pe bhi kya tha news thi kuch programs cultural programs jo hai wo unka broadcast hone laga messages ड्यूरिंग द रिपब्लिक डे इंडिपेंडेंस डे जो हमारे प्रेजिडेंट का मैसेज है प्राइम मिनिस्टर के मैसेज वो डिलीवर होने लगे द मीन्स ऑफ टेलीविजन दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मास कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम now student next one that is satellite communication so satellite are mode of communication so the mode of communication them so as well uh, as they regulate the use of other means of communication so hamare jo other means of communication hai if we are talking about radio television so ye bhi sare kiske through connected hai that is the through connected to the satellite means of transportation so it is the advanced mode of communication system that is advanced mode of communication system so use of satellite in getting a continuous and synoptic view of larger area has made has made satellite communication very vital very important for the country due to the economic and strategic reasons strategic reasons ke andar kya ho gaya ki defense ke andar bhi satellite communication ka bahut bada role hai ki mobile jo hai hamare jo network se chal rahe hai to jaise hi network inko stop kar dete hai to satellite communication se mobile jo hai connect hoke ek jagah se dusri jagah defense strategic point of view se these are very important means of communication so satellite images can also used for the weather forecast monitoring of natural calamities uh, surveillance of border area so if i'm talking about the monitoring of the weather ke regarding pehle se hi jo previous information so hame mil jati hai regarding this right now if i'm talking about the winter season so we are getting information regarding the western cyclonic disturbances so western cyclonic disturbances so se related jo information hai se related jo rainfall hai precipitation hai that is in north and north western part of india we are getting information about That, uh, process. तो हमें प्रीवियसली ही वो क्या मिल जाती है इंफॉर्मेशन मिल जाती है ओनली पॉसिबल थ्रू द मीन ऑफ द सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सैटेलाइट रोल जो है उसकी 
वजह से नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कंफ्रीग्रेशन एंड पर्पज है सेटेलाइट सिस्टम इन इंडिया कैन बी ग्रुप इन टू टू दैट इज इंडियन नेशनल सेटेलाइट सिस्टम दैट इज इनसेट एंड इंडियन रिमोट सेंसिंग सेटेलाइट सिस्टम आई आर एस दिस इज द डिविजन ऑफ द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया सो इनसेट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन एटी थ्री अ मल्टीपर्पज सेटेलाइट सिस्टम एंड द सोल पर्पज इज फॉर द टेलीकम्युनिकेशन मेट्रियोलॉजिकल मेट्रियोलॉजिकल दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द एटमोस्फेरिक फेनोमेन दैट इज मेट्रियोलॉजिकल लॉजिकल हेयर मीन्स स्टडी मेट्रियो हेयर मीन्स द एटमोस्फेयर सो स्टडी रिलेटेड टू द एटमोस्फेयर ऑब्जर्वेशन सर्वीलियंस दैट इज द मेट्रियोलॉजी एंड वेरियस अदर डेटा एंड प्रोग्राम्स now the second one that is irs satellite system become operational with the launching of irs ia in march 1988 from baikonur in russia so india has also developed her own launching vehicle pslv pslv is the launching vehicle ki the uh, satellite ko launch karne ke liye jo rocket uh, jo hai jo usko bilkul orbit ke andar launch karega that is pslv polar satellite launch vehicle so these satellites collect data in several spectral bands and transmit them to the ground station for various uses the national remote sensing center at hyderabad provide facility for the acquisition for the acquisition of data and its processing these are very useful in the management of natural resource so in satellite system ka remote sensing satellite system ka kya role hai ki forest cover hai forest cover ko monitor karna forest cover ke regarding information data collection uske area ke regarding forest area aur forest cover ke regarding aur bhi remote areas ke related jitni bhi geographical information hai that is obtained through the remote sensing technique to remote sensing technique se wo sari information मिलती है सो दिस इज अबाउट द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम स्टूडेंट्स